Spectrum routers use WA2 and WPA3 to secure your Wi-Fi network. WPA2, or Wi-Fi Protected Access 2, employs AES encryption with a pre-shared key, offering protection against eavesdropping. This authentication process shown here demonstrates how WPA2 secures network access. WPA3 is the newer standard, introducing forward secrecy via SAE, stronger protection against brute force attacks, and better privacy on public networks. The WPA3 SAE protocol, illustrated here, shows the enhanced authentication and key derivation process. Spectrum has rolled out firmware updates that default to PA3 where supported. However, older routers might only support WPA2 or a WPA2 PA3 mixed mode. Remember to update your router's firmware, as shown in this guide, to enable WPA3 features. To determine if your router is compatible with WPA3, check Spectrum's support portal or the router's documentation. The industry is moving towards WPA3 due to increased Wi-Fi attacks exploiting WPA2 weaknesses with WPA3 offering superior protection and a 50% drop in attack success rates. This comparison chart highlights the key differences between WPA2 and WPA3 protocols. To configure your Spectrum router, access the admin interface by typing 192.168.1.1 or spectrum.net slash setup into your web browser. The default credentials are often found on the router sticker. In the wireless settings, select the security mode, WPA2 personal for WPA3 personal for WPA3, or WPA2 WPA3 transitional for mixed compatibility. Ensure your router's firmware is up to date to avoid vulnerabilities. Use a strong password, at least 12 characters long, and disable WPS for added security. If you have older devices that are not compatible with WPA3, select the mixed mode WPA2 PA3 transitional. Experts recommend WPA3 for its superior protection, but recognize the need for mixed modes during the transition to avoid isolating older devices. Remember to apply and save any changes made. Regularly check for new firmware updates through the Spectrum app or website.